Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Tuesday after the Easter break. Quiet start to the sort of normal liquidity resumption. Euro's been 30.60 since, since the break began. Haven't made a new low. Uh, confirming the negative fundamental news out of Europe last week but also haven't retraced even to the 50% or 61.8 of that of this daily bar, this PMI bar here. So we're just in a holding pattern. Um, patience looks like the word today. Euro-Yen, same business. Uh, we're core short tiny Euro-Yen, like we said on Thursday last week. 65.95 is now... Um, a little mini range within this bear movement you want to buy and sell stuff try and get an average better on your core short we did bank uh, P&L from the you know we sold 38s um, now we sold 28s and 18s on that news so we banked 90% of that and now we're just playing core short um, and waiting for the next shoe to drop uh, downside euro we're using euro yen as our horse let's go to crude this was interesting the sanctioned news that everyone has seen now the only reason it's interesting is you know higher crude um, has been recently correlated with higher equities so even though we're bearish equities you still have to be patient here uh, back to the crude real quick. This is a big, big breakout through 64.77. So we broke some serious technical resistance. Uh, we closed at the highs. Um, this looks very solid. So again, this just gives you a clue to be patient on equities. For a second there yesterday, equities looked pretty negative. Uh, we had printed the 15 high yesterday, and then we were down at 98. Uh, seven handles from a bearish engulfing, but look at the bar. Now it's just a green bar, higher high, higher low. Be patient here. Um, as our colleagues in the States mentioned, we did print a doji on the weeklies. What does this doji mean? Take your bias hat off for a second. It means get long above the highs. So basically 29.24 or get short below the lows. Now, we're not going to purely trade this as a weekly candlestick. Certainly, um, the risk reward becomes upside down on these kind of trades, like where are you going to leave your stop, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But we're just saying this just now adds a little bit more fuel to the fire. You have this little trend line here, which defines the up move. You have 2880, which is really kind of the big bull bear line. Um, just wait, is what I'm saying. So we will continue to sell high ones uh, on the tactical book for the day. Um, so today we're going to be selling between 14 and 24. Uh, on the tactical book and of course that means there's a stop right there's a tight stop in fact so if, if, if we get done at 24 it's going to be really awkward ideally what usually happens is you'll sell 14s and you'll sell 18s you'll buy 08s you'll sell 12s you'll buy 08s again and then you're short at I don't know 20 23 and you either scratch it or you get paid uh, by buying O3s, and you may leave tiny uh, core short with an amazing average. But typically in the tactical book, we're just trying to add P&L to smooth out the directional book. Obviously, the directional book is going to smash this probably through 2880, maybe now through 2890 because of that weekly bar. But my point is, we have our bias um, it's left hand side but we're still waiting for the shoe to drop we're still waiting for the straw to break the camel's back 
and it's not here yet people the straw is not here um, and one of the things that bugs me is too many people are bearish so patience 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 crude is telling us also to be patient dollar czar is not telling us to be patient dollar czar is telling us risk off we broke that 11 uh 14 11 area yesterday uh closed up at 15 now we're opening at 17 this is a buy on dip today you can buy now retraces down between 1411 and, and 1408 there will be some sort of I'd say weak hands to be stopped out below 1411 you can ride this horse now uh, to the north dollars are obviously uh, we enjoy this side of this market so we will be playing with this today quickly um, cable got down to 75 yesterday this just technically looks pretty delightful right I mean yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six lows. But you, the last two days technically are meaningless because there's no liquidity. But you got the 200 day. You got this bar here, which is 60. Um, this is going to fall off a cliff. Just got to figure out when and where and why and how you're going to trade it. The most obvious way to trade this will be just break trade um, the 200 day. So put entries below 68. We're going to play a little bit core short today before we will be adding somewhere between 78 and 58 because really this 60 point is kind of the point of no return for us. But on the micro levels, I have to leave that to you guys. Uh, I'm just telling you directionally what we think is going to happen. This looks like it's going to roll over. We don't have any sterling news today. We don't really have much interesting sterling news tomorrow. Um, so I don't know what's going to drive it. Could be political news. Obviously, May is on the ledge. We'll have to see. Moving on, uh, dollar CAD, really nice chart. Uh, basically, the upside down sterling chart, right? 134.02. Uh, there will be some action there. Tough for it to grind up there with oil doing what it's doing, but check your correlations. Recently, the oil and CAD are not correlated. I think I told you guys um, the correlation page, M MRCI.com, great for correlations. I'll chuck that on Twitter. Um, have a look at that because sometimes one of some of the obvious correlations when they break down you gotta know they've broken down so irregardless of oil uh, 134.02 is going to be very interesting we obviously have Bank of Canada on Wednesday tomorrow so we're not going to expect outside moves today um, but there will be stops above there so in the tactical book there will be some money to be made if we get back up to 134 the figure what else? Oh yeah, finally, uh, it seems like I'm talking a lot today. <coughs> here's um, here's our elephant in, in our room, DXY. Um, Dollar Swiss is telling us that this is going to go. Uh, the mystery move higher. Obviously, we're 101.60 today. This will also coincide with Euro, 111.75. Um, we're looking for a big, powerful break here, and it's just worth watching. <clears throat> if we get through 97.75, um, this will add credence and credibility to left-hand side euro. Or basically, buying dollars against anything, dollar CAD even. Um, dollar czar will go higher as well. Aussie, which is tr trading left-hand side recently, CPI tomorrow will go further um, this looks like it's setting up let's just keep an eye on it could be rates driven 30 years close to 3% again um, I don't know what's going to drive it and it doesn't even matter what's going to drive it this is technically so powerful that the technicals alone uh, will be a good driver so keep your eyes on it 97.72 
we are 40 points away, um, half a percent. It's close. Anyway, I've said enough. Um, I wish you guys a patient and profitable day. I will talk to you tomorrow.